Hello everybody, welcome back to C++ Programming, uh, I'm Ruta Vanell. In the last video we were checking out data types and the kinds of information and, and things that we can store and manipulate in our C++ code in, in, our, in our program. Now, in this video, I'm going to actually create a new file, go ahead and save this one as 03 underscore operating on data.cpp. Now you can see that exists in my file here. Awesome. Oh, okay. Sorry about that, guys. Let's go ahead and include IOStream. Let's start using our namespace std. And let's create our main function. And uh, get all that rolling for us. Awesome. Okay, now in the last video you saw we had some um, integers and, and characters and boolean values and stuff like that. We had types of data. So let's have an int um, number and uh, that can equal 20. Doesn't matter to me. We can have an int other number that can equal 30. Let's have another variable which is pretty cheesy, we can just have an int sum, and that can equal number plus the other number. Now if we echo out what that sum really is, turn zero at the end of our program here, I go over here to my uh, terminator, if I g plus plus o3, if I run a dot out, we get 50, because well, that's the sum of 20 and 30, and we're using the plus sign. We're using an operator here. This is the plus sign is obviously, sorry, a uh, a, a symbol and a sign, and a, an operator to add. But what if we had other things? What if we had the difference could equal number minus other number? And then if we displayed, okay, what is the difference? That's just changing the name of the variable here. What if we if we run this, compile it, run it, and we get negative ten because twenty minus thirty is negative ten. That's what this subtraction sign is doing. This is an operator. This is the minus operator. You're typically used to seeing this in math and, and any other realms of the world because it's really imp it's really easy. It's pretty simple. All it is is an operator, and I want to get that idea across to you guys. We actually have other kinds of operators. You, th you see this equal sign right here. We're saying that the number equals 20. We're assigning a value to this variable. The equal sign is an assignment operator. We can actually even use um, we can say we can use other kinds of assignment operators. We can say number plus equals other number. Now what this will do is it will take the initial value of number and then go ahead and add the other number's value to it. That's essentially what it's doing. What if we run this? If we display what that number is, if I uh, hop over to my terminal, we're going to get 50 because that's the sum 20 plus 50. That works just fine for us. We have multiplication, of course, as well. Uh, actually, let's just display that out because you know, of course, we can do that. It doesn't. We don't have to have any assignments at any other time. If we run this code, compile that, run that, 20 times 30 is going to equal 600. What if we actually divide it? Number divided by other number. What does that do? You have zero. Because 20 doesn't fit very easily into 30. And, uh, well, we could, of course, change these you, you notice that this is doing integer division, where 20 cannot fit into 30. Normally we would have a decimal for this, but because we're using types integers, there's no way it's going to give us a, a decimal value for this. We can fix this later on once we get into typecasting and showing how to change one uh, type to another, but I'm not really going to move into that just yet. What if we used um, 100 divided by 20? We just change the values of these numbers. In that case, we should have 5, and that's exactly what we get. Cool. So those are operators. We have multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. Um, we have exponents when you actually use two of these, two asterisks. 
that works just fine for us. And uh, yeah, we have um, the same sort of thing with uh, assignment operators. We can also use number, like I had earlier, number plus equals other number. We can, of course, say number minus equals other number. Or, for multiplication, number times equals other number. Or divide, number divide equals other number. Plenty of operations and things that we can do with this. Simple stuff, though. All it is is an operator. And actually, when we're using C out, you can see these symbols here. That's an operator. You might not recognize it because it's different from what you're used to, but it's still an operator that allows to do one operation, whether or not it be addition, whether or not it be subtraction, or even a more abstract function like display something on the screen. So these symbols in their succession or however you want to think of them, they are operators. They do things. And that's a that's a key term to understand and remember. Operator. Okay. I think that's all guys. This is of course a pretty simple topic, especially if you're used to programming in, in, Ty in Python and other languages and simple stuff. So we're good here. Thank you guys for watching. Simple programming, simple tutorial. See you in the next tutorial.